Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys two air dry clay projects that I made. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so for our first project, we're gonna make a really subtle egg tray. And so here's the egg carton that I'm gonna use as my stencil and I'm just gonna start cutting it down to the size that I want. And I'm not gonna use this for eggs. I'm gonna use this to hold my beauty blenders. Here, I'm trimming down the sides of the egg carton because I don't want the little dips in the tray to be super deep. Okay guys, so I'm pretty happy with this, so I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to start rolling out my clay. And for this project, I'm going to be using Hardy's Super Lightweight Modeling Clay. One of you guys had asked me a while ago if I could use this on a project, and so this is it. Now I'm going to take my clay and I'm going to place it on top of the egg carton and I'm very gently going to start like pressing the clay into the carton to get the shape. And I'm being very careful and patient with this so that the clay doesn't rip. By the way, before you start pressing your clay onto the carton, I would suggest adding a piece of plastic wrap on top of the egg carton so that it doesn't stick onto the clay. And then I'm using water to smooth out the top and it also helps as I try to get like the clay a little bit deeper into the egg carton. Next, I'm trimming off some of that extra clay hanging off of the ends and I do want to keep some of it there but um, if you want you could trim it like super short. Now I'm smoothing everything out. Right here, I'm shaping the clay edges to look how I want them to look. I don't want them to look like straight or anything. I want them to look like really wavy. I'm really happy with this, so now I'm just gonna let this dry. Three days later. Here's our little egg tray dry, and so now I'm just gonna sand it, and then I'm gonna paint. And then right here I decided to speckle. And then I'm going to seal this using Deco Arts Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. Okay guys, so for our next project, we're gonna make a clay bowl. And so I'm gonna use this old candle jar to help me shape my bowl, but you could use an actual bowl or a cup or whatever you have will work. And then I put parchment paper and plastic wrap around the candle jar so that my clay wouldn't stick to it. And for this project, I'll be using Sculpey air dry clay. And I made two of these bowls, one using Sculpey and one using Daz air dry clay. And I found it easier to use Daz because it was a little bit stickier, which was more helpful for this project. Anyways, I rolled out my clay and now 
now I'm chasing out a circle the size of the jar that I'm using because this is going to be for the bottom part of the bowl. Now that we have that done, I'm going to set it aside for a little bit and I'm going to start rolling out some coils for my bowl. I roll out my first coil on the longer side and then I cut it in half and right here I'm checking to see if I like the length of how long it is for my bowl and I did so I decided to make the rest of my coils that same length and by the way guys don't worry about making your coils all the same thickness as long as it's like semi close it'll look good. I ended up rolling out a total of 8 coils for my bowl and then right here I'm trimming them down to be all around the same size. Here I'm just checking to make sure that I liked the number of coils or if I should roll out some more and I was happy with this but you could roll out more if you wanted to. Okay, so now I'm going to take that circle that we traced out and I'm going to place it on top of my jar and then I'm going to start attaching my little coils one by one. I added some water to make the clay a little bit more tacky and then using my modeling tool I started blending the coils into the clay. And also make sure to keep using some water and your fingers just to blend everything out a little bit more. Okay, so that's looking good, so I'm going to set that aside for a sec, and I'm going to roll out three really long coils to wrap around the sides of my bowl. Right here, I'm placing my jar on top of a little box to raise it up a little bit since the length of my coils are a little bit longer than the actual jar. Now I'm going to take one of my really long coils and I'm going to wrap it around the clay and attach it. And the clay did stick on there really well, but if you're having trouble with your clay, I would suggest adding slip. And this is what your bowl should start looking like. So now I'm going to attach the other two coils. I'm flipping this right side up so that I can attach the last coil. Okay guys, so this is what the bowl is looking like now, so I'm just going to let this dry for about two days. 
really quickly guys before i show you our bowl dry this is what i meant when i said add some slip to make your coils attach better you take some watered down clay right here which is our slip and then you dab it where you want your two pieces of clay to attach and it will act as like a glue and it will hold everything together really well so i do suggest doing this part to hours later okay guys so here's our bowl dry and it looks super cute and so now i'm gonna paint it Lastly, I'm going to seal this using Deco Art's triple thick gloss glaze. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys try one of these out and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!